Hello, Robbie here. I just installed Linux 16 8.18.1 Cinnamon Edition. I've always been using, uh, for the last few years, I've been using Linux Mint Mate, uh, but I've switched over to, uh, to Cinnamon. Um, been liking a lot of the features on uh, on the new system, and uh, I just thought I'd like to show you some of the uh, of the games that. Um, I've been playing with, just playing around, and I just came up with a top five list of uh, games that I like the best. Not necessarily the top best. I I'm old. I'm an old school gamer. I like classic old games. Um, uh, I love playing Atari back in the day and um, Sega Genesis. Not that one though. Oh, not right now. Sega Genesis, and I, I still have a Sega and some of my Atari games. Um, but I just wanted to talk about some of the games that I've been playing recently. Um, and I've given you a top five of my favorite. I got a top five of my favorite. I just, uh, let's see. I'm having trouble with this touchpad on this. Uh, this is my mom's laptop that I'm just. I've converted it from a Windows 10 machine and I've liberated it and made it a Linux machine because she just needs a computer she can Facebook with and not cause her a lot of problems. So there's a game here. Uh, it's not one of my top five, but it's definitely a one that is becoming one of my favorites. I just wanted to show first. This game is called R.I.L.I. It's a toy simulator game based on a a wooden railroad uh, train set where you're going around and you got to catch extra cars for your railroad but you got to be careful not to make uh, not to uh, crash into yourself very simple but very fun game yeah and you can easily kill yourself like that that's how you die in the game So you just want to switch tracks so that you can not hit yourself. Whoops. Just got to go around one more time. Burger Space is based on the arcade game Burger Time, which was released for the ColecoVision, Atari 2600, and many other home video game systems and computers in the early 1980s. Just turn the volume down just a bit more. Okay. All right. This is Burger Space, based on Burger Time. Definitely has a Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Kangaroo feel to this game. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, you got the whole screen. You're making hamburgers. Making hamburgers. He got bit. Yeah, it got bit. 
Hey, why is there coffee right there? Well, I'll go have a drink of coffee. Hopefully it makes the chef run around happier. Whoop! Angry tomatoes falling down. Oh! I made one burger so far. There you almost done. There, now you made one. There. Hold on now. This one's for me only this time. Jeez. Yay. Being chased by an angry egg and tomato and a head of lettuce. I got bit by an egg. New game. Okay. Alright, let's try playing Nibbles. The worm game. I guess that goes after Cheerios. I'm the red one. And you want to get the uh, Cheerios. There, yep. And the other pieces. I remember this game in computer, computer class in high school. Lots of kids didn't do their work. They just played this game. Back in the uh, early 90s, or mid to the early 90s. And I remember playing a game called, I think it was um, for the Atari 2600, what was it? Surround for the Atari 2600, which was similar to this type of game where you had another, the computer, and you had to cut it off. Keepers, I almost uh, have everyone blocked off here. Well, oh, I got knocked off there. One game I highly recommend is Click Itty. Click Itty, or it's also known as uh, Gnome Same. I'm going to try to use the touch screen for this just to show you. You just want to try to get grouped together all the colors. You get a big group of colors, very satisfying. <clears throat> this is a very difficult one, I find. It's not very tight together. Very spaced out, these pieces. <laughs> It's like the worst game I've ever had on this thing. Actually, this could be a score to remember here. There we go. Remember that. And uh, also, you can change the graphics mode on it. Casing all uh, old. There we go. So you just move your mouse on it and it highlights all the pieces together. Kind of like a lot of games on a tablet and Facebook games and seem to have taken this game and uh, have made it one of their own, but I always thought this game would be great on the Atari. Maybe if like, you know, to be ported to the Atari, just because it's, I don't know, I, I wonder if like a game this simple could be ported to Atari, because it's just has so, uh, it's simple, but it's so fun to play. Not very graphically intensive, but a fun game that doesn't really use a lot of graphics. All right, I'll play a quick version of this track balls with a Z. Um, obviously it's based on Super Breakout or Breakout 
Um, Breakout for the Atari was probably one of my favorite games of all time. This is one that you play with the mouse. Uh, how do I fire this thing? There we go. Um, unless you have paddle controllers, which, you know, for the Atari was was, was awesome. <clears throat> I think I had Breakout on every system. Um, I had it for Atari. Well, I, I had a bunch of Ataris, though. I had an Atari XE computer. And, um... Uh, I had the Atari 7800, but obviously I had Breakout for just for the regular 2600. Ooh. Am, I, am I not moving? I've lost movement. I'm be able to move now. Level complete. And this one's like really easy. I think it's based on a version for the Commodore Amiga. What do I do here? Shop. Trackball shop. Uh, what do I want here? I don't know. I just want to play. Space bar to fire. And there's a lot of um, uh, breakout like games um, for Linux. You can find that are free open source games. Oh, I paddle off there now. Cool. Close this. Alright, now my favorite game. Probably I've every computer I've installed Linux on I've put this game on it. Would be Armageddon Tron. Based on the Tron film from the nineteen eighties. Now you use the Z and X key to turn. That's really all the only buttons you need. And I'm not good at this game. <laughs> we'll try again. <clears throat> I'm not good at games, but I enjoy playing them. Woohoo! He got me. Trying to hold my face close so I can narrate at the same time as well. I got you. Oh, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> if I can get him out once, I'll be happy. Get Mr. Outlook here. I got you, Outlook. Hopefully I do. There we go. I won. Bow won. My name is not Bow, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I almost had him, but no, Mr. Outlook got me there. Or I got myself, really. I'm sure this is a big game online. It's been around. This game has been around for years. I can even change. If I touch the mouse, it'll change the views. It's the sort of game. It's the sort of game you don't want to play with the mouse. You want to just play with your two buttons. That's the way I like to play it. There is an online mode as well, and there's always people online playing this game. But uh, they'd all. I'd I'd do so terribly, so I wouldn't even bother. There. Well, if I just would have been able to wait him out, eventually he would have closed himself in. <laughs> One more round. Okay, I got XL in the game now, too. I like when it's multiple players. So it's good. Oh. Game over. Normally I'd do better on this game, but 
I'm just trying to show it off here. So that's probably one of my favorite. That's my top number one Linux game. Leave the grid. Mm-hmm.